Hi guys, this is uh, SlayerFan666, and today I'm going to show you how to mod Oblivion Elder Scrolls 4 from the Xbox 360. Alright guys, before we even start with anything, we're going to have to download a few programs. If you saw my video on Fallout 3, this is, it's a bit similar, but a bit more modding programs, a bit more complicated, not as easy as the Fallout 3 one. Alright, first program is going to be USB Explorer. It's going to look like this, the program. Alright? This is very important because it will, once you're done moving or copying the game save that you want to mod, you can use you use this program to transfer the modded file that you want to mod onto your computer. All right. Then the second thing you're going to need is basically the foundation of modding Oblivion. It's called Modio, right, guys? This is very important. You're going to really need this. All right. Third thing you're going to need is also the actual modding program, which will be Elder Edit. Looks like this. You can mod a. I will tell you more about the, uh, this modding program later. All right, and last but not least, you're also going to need WinRAR. Very important because most of these things you can find to download will be will be zipped files. And like I said, you can find any one of these programs like USB Explorer, Modio. Elder Edit and WinRAR on YouTube. You can just uh, search up WinRAR download link, and the person should have it in the description. All right. So you're gonna start like this. You're gonna plug in your USB and you're gonna open up USB Explorer. All right. You're gonna go to File, Open Drive. Going to wait, and there should be a thing that says Root that pops up. Double click it. And then another thing should come up that says Content. Double click that. Double click these bunch of random digits. And then I have two game saves for two different games on this. Fallout 3 and Oblivion, as you can see. Fallout 3 is my top one. Oblivion is my bottom. So I'm going to click my bottom one. Double click this. And here's my game save. Now what you're going to do after this is you're going to extract the game save by holding down the mouse and dragging it onto your desktop. And I've just extracted my save to my computer in order to mod. Now you're going to open up Modio and click and drag that game save into Modio. It should bring up the general file information. You don't need any of this till the end, to close to the end of uh, modding Fallout 3. I mean, Oblivion, sorry guys. So click on File Contents and right click Game Data and go to Extract File. Very important that you extract it to your desktop. So if you don't, just click on it, change it to desktop. It's much more convenient than looking into files and you can't find the data set. Alright, so save it. Click yes. If you use this program more than once, uh, a thing will pop up saying you want to overwrite the game data. Just say yeah, it's no problem. Don't worry about it. So minimize this for now. Now we're going to go into Elder Edit. Alright, we're going to File, click it, go to Open, and it should show you, it should show you a bunch of files. Make sure you're looking at your desktop because that's obviously where you save the game data to. Look down until you find game data. Double click that. It will show a bunch of spells, potions, clothing, armor, and weapons. All these things are the, your own custom spells, potion, clothing, armor, or weapons. All right. So what this modding program makes you do is you can so click on this. You can basically have any spell in the game and switch it to any magnitude you want. So, for example, what I've done in my game, this is one of my older files, so my um, skills aren't that high to use, but what I use is I have clothing that I will show you here. Wait one second. So, I modified my strength so I can carry about 10 million pounds on me on my Oblivion character. This is a very useful modding program. Excellent. It does not cause any crashes for me. Perfect. Doesn't corrupt game saves or anything. It's fine. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Alright, so that's basically it. Once you're done modifying that, go up here and click Save. It will save your current changes. What I have to do is exit out. Now go back into Modio. Go back into game data, right click it, and go to replace the files. You're going to replace the game data with the modded game data now. Alright, so game data, double click it. Alright, then go to general file info. This is very, very important. 
in order for the mod to work, you have to go to Rehash and Resign. Just click it once. There, once it said Rehash and Resign. It's all good to go. You guys are all done. Now, last but not least, you're going to need to bring up USB Explorer, delete this game save, and drag the modded game save into USB Explorer here. So once that's done, click that, you can go to Close Drive. It will close everything, then just exit out. Unplug your USB, and plug it back into your Xbox 360, and uh, you're good to go. It's really easy. Follow this video, you'll have no problems. Maybe the only hard part you'll find is finding these modding programs and other programs for it. But like I said, look on YouTube, no problem at all. Alright? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be making more videos. Thanks a lot.